what you don't do, man. The same, the same guy that you saying right now. Uh, I remember him like, the first time I met him. He was at my house on this recruiting trip, and I remember him telling me he was committed to Wazoo. Right. I said, Oh Lord. <laughs> you know, but uh, I mean, he's come a long, he's come a long way. He's a hard worker, one of the hardest workers on the team. Um, you see him in the weight room, the first one in, and the last one to leave every day. And uh, you know, words can't explain. What do you, what do you think changed his mind? Have you idea? Uh, hopefully, he was hanging out with me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys have to prove against Idaho State? Um, we're just gonna continue to execute. Um, we know they're hungry. We know they're very aggressive defense. Um, we, we just have to do what we do, um, minus the penalties, uh, and we'll be fine. Some of the upsets around FCS, Eastern Washington knocking off Oregon State. Is that an easy reminder for you guys this week? It doesn't really matter. I never forget. I almost lost to Eastern Washington on my first my first year starting. You know, so uh, I'm definitely not looking past them. I had a scare already, and uh, that's all I needed. So I'm not looking by I'm looking past them by any means. When Bishop was a freshman. Did he just did he just have a tendency to when players called get as run as fast as he can into the hole and kind of how is that? How, how have you seen him change as as a runner? Uh, he's a very patient player. Not very flashy, um, but he gets the job done. You know, people you'll probably look at him and be like, "There's no way that this guy is, you know, tearing us apart." And uh, he's very patient. He has good vision, uh, great balance uh, for a guy of stature. Stature, and uh, I mean, he just makes plays. He's he a little just bulk in him in terms of patience. And he does. He does. It reminds me of great vision and great patience. He sees holes that I know I wouldn't be able to see, and he squeezes and finds find a way to maneuver his body through the holes. Man, he's, he's an excellent guy. Keith, I, I know you've got to have a lot of satisfaction in the yards you've been able to gain, but getting in the red zone and, and whatnot is that starting to get maybe a little more frustrating than normal? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, we understand that we need to score touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, especially as we move along, guys are scoring points. Uh, the Pac-12 is splitting up numbers, so we have to be able to match that. Um, so I have to be better in the red zone, uh, making better decisions. Uh, and throwing this open, guys.